Okay, so hi guys, it's Miss Lollipop and welcome back to another video from me or welcome to, if you are new, I am Miss Lollipop Sims, also known as Lauren. Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you how to install mods and CC for The Sims 4. So the mods will be um, like script mods and you know things that you actually need to put in the script folder which I will explain how that all works. Um, and CC will be um, you know separate things which are more like hairs, objects, um, you know things that just sort of change the look of the game and not necessarily add new uh, you know like gameplay to it um, or add like new um, yeah basically new gameplay like like mods and script mods are normally like careers and um, like MC command center which changes the way that the game works whereas CC is more of you know the change in the appearance of the game um, and including like extra objects and items and things so I'll go ahead and let you guys know what you need to get. So the links are going to be all down in the description. So everything that I mentioned in this video will be um, included in the description. So you guys can go ahead and get downloaded. And then I'm going to go ahead and show you how you actually download that all and how you get it all installed into your game um, and make sure that it's all working. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So first of all, you're going to need to go ahead and get yourself Wimra or 7-Zip, either works, but I use Wimra specifically. Um, so I'll leave the link to this down in the description so you guys can get it. Now, these are the links to it up here. As you can see, obviously it comes from Mac. So if you have, uh, you know, an Apple Mac, you can go ahead and download this one here. If you've got a Windows computer, you'll go ahead and download Wimra X64 um, or X86. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how you decide which one you need to download. So it will depend on your computer, so you need to make sure that you go ahead and have a look at this. So we're going to go ahead and load up your um, system information. So you can go ahead and do this just by clicking on the start menu down here and typing in system and it is literally the first one that comes up. Um, so you can go ahead and click on that and it will open up. So on here we can see our versions that we've got here. So on here you want to be looking at this number just here x64 is a 64-bit computer and an x86 is a 32-bit computer so if you have an x64 bit based pc you need to go ahead and download the 64-bit version if you have an uh if you have the x86 that is a 32-bit um version you need to go ahead and download the 32-bit version on your computer so uh, mine is x64 so we're going to go ahead and reinstall that so you go ahead and click on the version that you've got and it installs it straight away. So here is an exe file, which is an executable. So we can just go ahead and open that up. It'll ask you if you want to accept it, which obviously we do. And this will open up and it'll ask you for your installation details. You can go ahead and follow this straight through. So obviously you go ahead and choose where you want to install it, or you can just select whatever it comes with. Um, me personally, I have mine installed on my H drive, but normally it would have this one just selected just here. It doesn't matter which one, depends on where you want to install it. You just click the install button and that's it. It will just load straight up. So I'll go ahead and install it back onto my drive so that I'm doing it with you guys. So we just hit install. Um, it lasts you for this bit just here. You go ahead and um, leave it with whatever it's selected and just click OK. Um, and there you go, it will install it and that's all we need. So you now have WinRa installed and here it is. We can go ahead and open it. So for the moment, we don't we don't need any of that, okay? We, we can leave that. Um, this will be used for um, unzipping folders. So sometimes when you download mods, they'll come with two packages inside um, or two files. They'll come with a, um, a script mod and also a package file. So sorry, in order to unzip the folder, you're going to need to use WinRa to do that, which I'm going to show you how to do in just a second. So don't don't fret, don't fret, it's going to be fine. <laughs> okay, so now that we've got WinRa, we can go ahead and close this one. So let's start off with downloading some script mods. Okay, so you might find that when you're downloading some, um, you know, some mods for The Sims, um, for example, career mods specifically are script mods. You'll find out when you download them, they'll show um, they'll show with like a different icon. So I'll just click on anything. Let's go ahead and download the ultimate teen career set. Um, so, say for example, we're going to go ahead and get this installed from Mod The Sims. We can just go onto our files just down here. This is the description for the download and it will tell you all the information, which version of the game you need, everything like that. Um, so we can just click on the files just here um, and this allows us to download everything on here. So on here you can see that we can download separate um, versions. We can download, you know, separate, um, like, you know, there's different careers in here so you can download the lifeguard separately. If you want to go ahead and download them all, this will come in a, in a zip folder and it will download all of them together. So, for example, we'll go ahead and use this one just here. 
So we click the name and it installs automatically for us. So if I go ahead and open it in our downloads, um, and then I'll go ahead and do it in details. There we go. So just right here, we have a zipped folder. This is a zipped folder that we will need to unzip in order to install into your um, game folder. So we go ahead and double click on this and it'll automatically up, um, open up in WinRAR because we've already got that installed. And here are all the zipped files for um, the careers. So in here, um, what we can do is go ahead and drag these out. So um, these, are, these are again zipped files. So if you put any zip file inside your game, it's not going to work unless you unzip them. You need individual files which show up like this. If you try to actually put this folder, um, oh hold on. If you try to put this um, this zip file in your game, it's not going to work, okay? Because the game can't recognize it because it's zipped. It's almost like hidden to it, okay? So you need to go ahead and make sure that you open it. So if anything says .zip down here, or again the type it says WinRAR Archive, it's not going to work. You are going to need to unzip it, okay? So um, let's go ahead and get the game open so that we know where it needs to be installed to. Um, because right now all we can do is see inside the zip folder, but we don't know where they need to just go just yet. So let's go ahead and open up the game folder. So let's go ahead and minimize this just for a second. So to be able to find your game, your mods folder, it's located in your documents um, folder on your computer. So just on here, on your main drive, um, you've got your documents just here. And on here you can see electronic arts. So we go ahead and click on that just here. Um, and inside here we have our Sims 4 folder. So ignore these two. These are two extra ones that I've got um, just named because I use different Sims folders. But either way, you're just going to have this one just here, the Sims 4, which is the main folder that you want to use. Go ahead and double click on that and it'll open up. So this is what the game looks like if you have a fresh version installed of the game. Um, so this is exactly what you would have if you have just installed the game or if you haven't touched anything from your computer and you haven't really run the game at all. So. Here we have the mods folder already created to us. So we go ahead and open this up and inside here is a resource.config. Okay, so in here we can go ahead and make our folders so that we can organize our um, we can organize our mods folder, which you like to do because there'll be certain times when there might be maybe an issue or there might be updates that you need to do with the mods, uh, which means it'll make it a lot easier if you put them all into separate folders so that you can find them. So let's go ahead and um, insert a new folder so you just right click and click new and then folder and um, so this will create a new folder I suggest making a script folder and then also a um, a CC folder like to keep them separately so this folder will be for your scripts and then inside CC you can have you know hairs makeup um, etc etc you know depending on what you've got installed in your game you can go ahead and make the folders yourself depends on what you install if you don't install them you don't need to make them so this one, we're going to go ahead and call the script folder. So we're going to name it just there. And then I'm also going to go ahead and um, make a new folder for um, CC or custom content so that we can install that one separately. Okay, so here we are. We've got our folders made and we are ready to insert our mods and our CC into the game. And let me go ahead and open both of these up at one time. So you should have minimized the, um, the archive that we opened, you know, the, the zipped folder. Um, but if you haven't, it's fine. We can go ahead and reopen it back up. So we need the downloads um, open back up. So we need where they installed to. And again, we can see just here is the zip folder. So let me go ahead and close this. So we go ahead and double click on this and it opens up in WinRAR and we have the archive just here. So um, let's go ahead and open up our scripts folder. And we want to go ahead and drag everything from here inside. Okay, so we go ahead and drag everything from this into here and it just exports them out from this WinRAR and it you know puts them in here. So that's fine. So that one's already done. So in here, we need to go ahead and take out all of these files because right now these are all currently zipped. So there might be some times when you download a zip file like this. Inside here will just be a package and a Sims 4 script, uh, you know, file which is fine, that can go automatically inside the game, but this mod that we've installed actually has, you know, two layers that we need to go through, which is fine. So, we go ahead and open them up. Um, so we'll open up the Camp Counselor first. So as you can see in here, we have the package file and we have the Sims 4 script file. Okay, so you're gonna need these to make them work. You're gonna need both of them in your game. 
Specifically, to install careers, you also need to have this um, Nia careers commons. It's the only way to get them to work in the game. I'm not sure why. I don't know the logistics of it. It probably uses some sort of, um, you know, it's probably uses some sort of code from this file that is, you know, always downloaded. But either way, go ahead and install it and make sure that you've installed this with it. So we go ahead and grab all of this and we drag it into our script folder and it unpackages them just here. So if I go ahead and search by type, we have them all extracted just here. So this is the camp counselor that is done and extracted and we can now use that um, in our game. And as long as we load it up correctly, it's all gonna work. So again, we can do that with another file. So let's go ahead and delete the original camp counselor because now that we've extracted it, we don't need the containing folder. We don't need that zipped archive. We, we're not gonna need that anymore. So we can go ahead and get that deleted. Um, so let's go on to the dog walker and we'll do the same with this one. So if we open up the dog walker again, we've got the exact same things. We've got the dog walker dot package and we've got the Sims 4 script file. And again, we've got Nia careers, which we're not going to need because we have already got that in the file. Uh, we have already got that in the scripts folder. So we're not going to need to go ahead and extract that as well. So let's go ahead and select the top two files, which is the package and the Sims 4 script fi uh, file. And then we can go ahead and just drag it into our script file. And there we go. We've got them installed. Perfect. And that is mainly how you install your scripts files. Um, pretty much they're all the same. Um, this one is probably the hardest one that you would get where you have to go through two steps. You have to go through the original file. Then you have to go and extract those files into here. And then you have to go into them again and extract those. You could have, if you wanted to, have gone into the original file and then clicked on this one just here, the zip file in here. And then it just extracted these. Um, but I thought it was a little bit easier if I you know, went ahead and showed you guys um, what it would look like for you. So that's fine. So we've gone ahead and installed that. And again, we can delete the original file. You've got the idea on how we install script files. So if you guys have got any questions about that, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below and I'll get around to answering them. Um, if you guys need any help, I'm sure there'll be some useful people in the comments who can also help you out as well. Um, and I hope you understood all of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, move on to CC and teach you guys how to install CC as well. Okay, so we're looking for some CC and for example, we go on the Sims 4 resource, which is also another place that you can get some CC. Probably one of the best places to start if you're quite new to the game um, and installing mods, uh, just because it's probably one of the safest places to go. You can't really get any viruses through here. Yours may look a little bit different. It's because I've got an account through them, so there's no ads, but when you load this up, there'll be some advertisements over the side. Um, but either way, it doesn't matter. You, you're still getting the same, the same experience, so. Um, let's go ahead and pick something that we like. So I kind of like this one just here. This is a cute little dress for toddlers. I like that. So we want to go ahead and install this. So you can uh, click on the downloads. So for example, if you open this up, we have the downloads button just here. For you, because obviously I've got my account open, it might be down here instead. Um, so if I go ahead and log out of my account, there we go, we'll go ahead and install this. So you'd have to click on it. And then we're gonna wait for it to load. And we're gonna keep waiting. And we're going to keep waiting. Right, there we go. Right, there we go. So we get to here and we want to click the download button. So we go ahead and click on this. And it will take us to a 10 second timer where we have to wait for that until we can get it installed. So we'll go ahead and... Okay, so that file has gone ahead and installed on our computer. So we can go ahead and start installing it into the game. So let's go ahead and close this away. Um, and now we have our downloads just here. So in our downloads, um, you know, Google Chrome has installed the package file. So the package file is always really what will be um, custom content. But again, as you saw from the scripts, they are also called package files plus a Sims 4 script file. So they need both to be able to work. Um, but, you know, just CC is normally just a package file. So you won't need to worry about that. If it's got a script file, it's a script, um, it's a script mod. So it's, it's a little bit different. So that's fine. So in here, we wanna go ahead and open up our CC section. Um, so we have a button tank dress. So this is for toddlers. So you could choose to organize your mods a little bit differently. You could choose to open, uh, you know, make a new, um, make a new folder. You could choose to, you know, put in here toddler CC. Um, for example, if we do this now, we put toddler CC. And then in here, we go ahead and open this up and then we can go ahead and maybe put in here clothes um, because obviously it is a dress. And then in clothes, we can just go ahead and drag the file over. So that's really what we wanna do. So the package file can just be moved over into the game folder. So again, it was in the last place that we just was. So in your documents, 
you go from your documents to electronic arts you've got the sims 4 ignore these just the sims 4 by itself and then we click on the mods folder just here and then we have our cc area and then toddler cc and then clothes so then we can go ahead and drag this in okay so yeah let's go ahead and drag the package file into our game so we just go ahead and drag it right in and there we go it's moved it from our downloads into our game so now that is all installed and completely working within our game as long as we load it up correctly so that was how we installed mods and cc into the game i'm going to go ahead and quickly boot up the game just to make sure that you've got a few settings turned on to make sure that it is working because normally the game hasn't got them automatically selected when you start um, so let's go ahead and make sure that you've got them turned on so that everything will work but other than that you guys have just gone ahead and installed your first cc and your script mod so congratulations <laughs> Okay, so we just loaded up the game and as you can see on here, um, this is showing us what is currently installed. So it shows us that these are the mods that are installed. We've got two script mods, we've got the camp counsellor careers and also the dog walker careers. And then we've also got custom content, we've got the button down tank dress and we've also got um, the careers as well because these are package files that it's showing you and in here are script folders but you would need both of them in order for it to work. So both the package file and the script mod for it to work but either way it shows you on this screen what is installed into the computer and what... Uh, what is currently being recognized by the game so if you're having any issues with anything showing up in game make sure that your you know your game is actually um, showing it here if it isn't being displayed in this box just here it means that the game isn't reading it so it might mean that you might put it in you know a slightly different folder um or you've you've done something with it that isn't in the right place which is why the game isn't reading it so just make sure that you've definitely put it in that mods folder um and you've definitely got it into there so that the game can read it so let's go ahead and select that so um, hold on, every, every, wait, this is a new game I just started up, this is gonna need me to click off all of this. You won't need to do this, hopefully, unless <laughs> you've installed loads of content. Come on. Okay, so we need to go into our settings of the game, which is obviously just in the right hand corner, so the options menu, and then we go ahead and click on game options just here. So you've got the bits just down the side, we need to go ahead and click on other. And in our other section, we have enable custom content and mods, and we also have script mods allowed. So most likely when you start the game up, this isn't selected. When when you when you start up a new game, um, this, this selection just here isn't actually selected, um, but this will normally be automatically selected. So if they're not, um, and obviously you wanna use the game in, you know, you wanna use the mods in your game, you need to make sure that you've gone ahead and selected both of these, and it will let you know that obviously they may cause a crash or un other expected behavior, um, because of the fact that obviously they changed the way the game works that you also need to restart the game in order for this to work So you need to go ahead and restart your game So you can go ahead and click apply changes just here and then restart your game and load back up And then these will all be displayed and working So I'll go ahead and take you into the game in a second Let's go ahead and skip the tutorial and then I'll go ahead and show you that the careers are all working and they're perfectly fine to use Okay, so we're in-game and I want to go ahead and show you guys that the script mods are actually working. The custom content, obviously, you'll see in Creator Sim, so you can go ahead and double check in there. But we want to go ahead and make sure that everything is working. So, um, we have installed some teen careers, which means they're like part-time jobs for the teens. So, we've got a teenager just here. So, we're going to go ahead and click on her and click Find a Job which is just here. So let's click on her and click the find a job. And then the careers that we have installed should show up in this um, this dialogue that we get just here. So we should come up with a screen. And on this screen, we have the two custom careers. We've got the camp counselor and also the dog walker. So these are all working fine. You know, every, the pay's working fine. Everything like that, we just go ahead and select that and click the confirm button. And there we go, she's got her new job. She's a trainee and it lets you know what she needs to get in terms of her skills in order to get promoted. So that is all working and that is how you install your scripts and you know you make sure that they're working in your game okay so i think i covered everything in this tutorial go ahead and let me know in the comment section below if you think there was anything i could have you know touched on or improved on um and go ahead and let me know if there's anything you need to know in the comment section below i'll see if i can get around to answering them but as i said there's going to be a lot of you guys um who can help each other out so if you have any issues with something and you figured out how to fix it um or anything go ahead and leave that in the comment section below um but yeah that's pretty much it obviously make sure that when you install your mods um, and your script mods that you always update them after every game patch uh, there will normally be certain patches that come out where you need to update them so make sure you do that because certain times um the game will break them for example with um careers if you don't update them after every patch on certain patches it will break the careers where you can't use them um anymore or they don't turn up to work or they don't get paid 
Um, so just make sure that you update it after every update that you get, as long as they need to be updated. Go back to the original site that you downloaded them and just reinstall them as we just went through. But other than that, you, go, you guys are going to be perfectly fine and I hope you enjoy your games with this new content. Um, so yeah, as always, if you guys enjoy, go ahead and leave a like on the video. And if you've got any questions, leave them in the comment section below and I'll get around to them as soon as I can. Um, if you are new, it'd be awesome if you could subscribe because obviously it helps our little family grow. And if you just want to hit the little no notification bell, you get notified every single time I upload, which means you never waste my way uploads. Also means that if you guys are quite new to my channel, that you will see any of my Let's Plays. You can go ahead and get down into them if you fancied it. Um, a lot of them are story based. If you guys like watching like TV shows um, and you like things that are more story driven, you might like my Let's Plays. Go ahead and try them out um, and let me know if you come over from this video. And yeah, I think that's everything. So as always, I love you all and I'll speak to you in the next episode. Bye guys.